I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. Same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So... What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device 
We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. plants along the way yeah good idea look there more of the flight <coughs> some of the blight is it's peeling off Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I don't want to put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions. Looks like they left a carcass behind. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready.
There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. That did it. After you. By the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission... The uh, message I found. Didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. <coughs> so, um... What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. We should find another way. Down this way. Get to the cross. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Another one's coming. Okay, concentrate. the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. <laughs> you said you got to focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Blowing into a ruin of the old ones. Goddess protect us. We'll be okay, Vor. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? 
There's climbing gear. Yes, someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Acid. That explains the smell. It looks like something big came from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. came through here, brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Caster. Now to test it on the debris. than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? What's this? And it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. For 
forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. I should open up my focus display and see what I can find. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Wow, that works. That pole caster's useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is 
that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. The wilds have really grown over this place. <laughs> some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Moving up. I need to sneak up on him to take it out with my spear. I can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. <laughs> Oh! 
I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. Machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. We might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. Machine's head. Don't think they spotted us. I better scan them. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. It's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Going on. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? They all have their secrets, but every place is different.
a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan... Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Farzina traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Looks like we've got to climb up. We won't be going that way. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the... Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering. An obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Pearl. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's. More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this? Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, 
The report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Those Ostra must have left. Weapon. Thanks, Merle. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. One of those machines. Can you weapon on it? We can cross over here. More of the Austrian Delvers. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. This backup is the last hope. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Is he part of part two? No. He was worse. Imagine going up to the stars and that. Machines tore right through them. These guys couldn't catch a break. <laughs> Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them.
through the wall. There's a ladder in the back. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother... She wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. They slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin. Huh? If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way to fall into the shuttle. That ladder can get me up to the tower.
there. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. myself off the grab point. Didn't make it. Let's try again. I can reach the rail up there if I launch myself off the grab point. Three giant machines killing Osser and leaving acid everywhere. Clamps holding the shuttle in place. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Oh, great. More machines in my way.
control console might be in there. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? Scanning with my focus could help here. the other connector.
this the hard way. I need to take this thing down to get to the data center. I should stand for weak spots. Okay, where's that weak spot? I should target it first. down fast. That may be frost ammo. But my focus might find something we can use around here. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess we're going to have to find another way there.
I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia. Fix the system, heal the Blight. Restore the of its dream. But is it still there? Okay, I should find the server room. here. Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess! I told you that already. That's not Gaia. It's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake!
sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. Okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I cut the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling about this. I could pull this thing out of the house. What? I 
transmission. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. over to the spire. Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. But it looks like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? If I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? An elevator? Let's see. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I am surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. 
But why don't take one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, and the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. with me? That's... new. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. like a thundercloud. I don't really want to talk about it. Hey, hey, it is I've seen you in action, Sager. It's an honor. Uh, hi. I I'd shake your hand, but I'm, I'm covered in dirt. 
the Karja have been guarding your spirit. You really humbled those masks. Welcome Chuck's back to the Alive Machine. Sorry, I'm not used to talking to famous people. You went inside it, and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vanasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. To attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of... Sh 